crowd it would yeah. be like a little so I'm going to try to explain this quick the short and the long of it is the reason why you have neck pain and you could say it's basically at the apex of where the base of your neck the spine and the collarbone and the shoulders meet at the apex right it's like, like vertex like I, I I guess it's like between the, the the spine and the shoulder blade. Yeah, right. Everybody has this, and it gets worse over time. And the way there's no way to completely get rid of it is part of this life. But yeah. basically, what it is is um, there's these things called morgellons. They're gins, um, in my belief. Yeah. Uh, they're nanobots and some. Does shavasana help? Well, let me let me explain. Um, they're they're some people call them nanobots, but basically the easiest way to think about it is they're like fleas, right? Yes. They're like little tiny parasite things, and they they enter your body through the base of your neck at that vertex. Yeah. Like the spot would be on a person, like right around here. It's hard because you got the collar on. I can't really feel it right here. Maybe right. And so here's what we we we've been able to deduce. Yeah. Um, For me, it's where my index finger is. Yeah, because they're entering you here, and you have like a build up here. Yeah, I have a build up right there. Yeah, you have a build up right here. So the ways I've been able to get rid of them, right? Mm -hmm. it, it's se several things. But um, before I even talk about that, I, I want to quote the Buddha really quick. The Buddha said that a sin is like a grain of sand that weighs down the entire beach, right? Okay. Okay. Well, how, how is that relevant, or how, how does that make I'll sense? Explain. Yeah. I'll explain. I'll explain. Because these pains we have, this little thing right here on your back, it's kind of like a grain of sand weighing down the entire beach. Yeah. Because the beach is your body, and you have this little thing right here, but it bothers you every day. And if it would just go away, you know, you'd pay anything to have it go away. You know, you just want to know what it's like to have not have that pain. Right. Right. And you got it around like 22, 23, it started to develop. It was earlier. Earlier, earlier even. It was like yeah. late teens. Yeah. I have an explanation. Um, the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa he said that there's these creatures called jinns, which enter through the base of your neck, right? And you start getting them at puberty, right? And at puberty, they start entering you. And they, they can cause buildup. Now, the way he said to get rid of them, um, well, there's several different ways, but it's a mix of, of physical and esoteric means. Yeah. The, I talked to Jesse Salas mm -hmm. about it, and he pretty much said yoga. Yeah, well, it, I, I'll, I'll tell you what has worked for me. Um, the number one thing to get rid of them, but this is a constant thing. It's, it's never going to completely get rid of them. But you'll be doing this all the time. Is you just touch your fing your your index finger on your right hand to your tongue, get like saliva on it. You touch it to the the spot that's hurting, mm -hmm. and you touch it back, and ke keep repeating that in an odd number of times, mm. like doing it. And that's gonna you I know say, yeah. And you're supposed to say mahatbar, which means God's God's love. Hmm. But, um, the point is, right? Yeah. That, that'll get them out of the surface, but to really ch channel them out, what I found works is you use your heart, right? And send energy from your heart to where it hurts and pull that pain that's in your shoulder or whatever into your heart and let your heart dispel it. Mm. And you kind of like move around and go through your whole body, scan your whole body from head to toe, and everywhere you feel discomfort, move it into your heart. Your heart has nerves in it that connect to the entire body and, and uh, veins and blood vessels, and it can send blood, it could send iron there, and the iron has a magnetic pull, and it can pull them little critters out of, out of your shoulder and pull them wherever they need to go. You know, it works with magnetic waves, whatever. They say the highest level of Qigong is moving energy with your heart. Mm. And it's so easy. And if you sit there and just do it, like, for, like, ten minutes, you'll start to feel more blood in your hands, your feet. You'll start to kind of get a dopamine rush. You'll be free of all pain. 
And um, that's how I was able to, to finally get rid of that pain in my neck is I brought all that pain in my neck into my heart and just let my heart dispel it. It says in the Quran, the believers have heart that are light. And um, they have a little bit of darkness, but their their pur- purpose in life is to get rid of that darkness. And the disbelievers have all darkness, and they're kind of trying to get rid of the, the light, you know? Yeah. I, I found myself in every end of that spectrum. Mm-hmm. And then, so finally, the other thing that I have to say works, and I, I'm just being completely truthful here. Yeah. Is if you eat those silicone dioxide packets that say do not eat, <laughs> these motherfuckers will start coming out of your body. The little nanobots, right? Yeah. And now I can show you, just so you see I'm not crazy, give me your foot. I don't know if you could see, is it the other one? No, it's right here. They both have them. They both have them. She has this scar here and this scar here. I have that one here. And a little bit here. We have all the same scars all over us. I have them here. They came out. Here, 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 here. And my third eye, my pineal gland. I don't know if the folks at home can see that. Right here. You see the scar here? It's like a a Hebrew letter. That's the Morgellon critters coming out. The jinns. Um, it's the prophet Muhammad, it was a daily practice of his to remove these from people and remove them from himself, these little nanobots. And now if you go online on YouTube, you can watch other people. There's like this Christian lady. She has the same scar as me. And she's like, I got bugs coming out of my pineal gland, you know? And Um, it's, it's a reality and it's one of the, the best kept secrets. And I think that's why they say don't eat on the silicon dioxide. Yeah. Inshallah, I Mm -hmm. don't have a spiritual crisis anymore, but I, Mm -hmm. I, I have to say I've been going through a real spiritual crisis. Um, like, I don't know if you could see right Mm -hmm. here, there's a scar on my temple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so like these, these weird, they're, they're like underground pimples, or like yeah, that's what they are, the yeah. nanobots. Yeah. So there was one that appeared right on my temple. Yeah. And I was because they they go through pressure points. They do they the nanobots because they're they're demons. They know how the human body works. They know if they go into my pineal gland, they'll affect all my thoughts. They know yeah. if they go on your temple that they could give you headaches and stuff. Yeah, but so I here, here's I. This is the second time something like this has happened, but I popped it, mm-hmm. and it was like 90% blood, 10% pus, mm-hmm. and like, after that, I, I got this like, sensation, it was, uh, I, I was hallucinating, mm-hmm. um, and, and it, it's like from an internal, like, like it, I can go like this, yeah. the hot bar. And you're supposed to actually touch your finger what, to the what dust was the, on the, the ground. Word that you said? Mahat bar. Mahat bar. I don't even know if I'm saying it right, to be honest. But you're supposed to touch your finger to your saliva, then touch it to the ground to get dust from the ground. Because there's healing in dust, actually. Antibiotics are made from dirt. I don't know if you know that. And then you touch it back, Mahat bar, And then you do it an odd number of times, right? And what I'm going to do, and it, you'll see. Inshallah, you'll see. Yeah. Is I'm going to pull a bug out from behind your ear right now. I, I do this with my cats all the time, and I did it.